Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So, recently I got a colour pop order and I haven't done the close up swatches of it, so I thought we would do this today. So, obviously, I'm not going to be doing this one. Or should I? Yeah, maybe I will. So we're going to do all the Tinkerbell together. So we've got the Tinkerbell Sprinkle, a little magic palette as well. We've got the Tinkerbell Lip Tint. And we've also got the Tinkerbell Straight Until Morning. Super Shock is the green one. And then the other palette, I don't know whether to do this one first. The other palette is the Just a Glitch palette, which is the pastel one. Now we'll do the Tinkerbell and then we'll do that one in a separate video so let's get cracking guys now this Tinkerbell collection is probably let's central it this Tinkerbell collection is probably the most excited I've been for any palette um, it's just absolutely beautiful the packaging the attention to detail is just really really pretty now I really love the Elsa one when it came out but this one is so much better I don't even mind that it's not plastic packaging which I normally mind just purely because there is so much attention to detail and you couldn't get that and you couldn't put this on plastic I don't think um but yeah this is what it looks like so we did a look with it I used second star big magic and then I went on to use tink and pixie dust purely because um, these these two um, shades I wasn't too keen on you will see that in the video is actually going up today so you'll see that in the video I wasn't too keen on it so I wanted to test the other two out and I think I also used sleep and awake in that look um, so we're gonna do full swatches and I can show you what just you know I can show you just how sheer these ones are um, you can barely see them. I mean, in the swatches you'll probably see them a lot more because that's how it is. That's how it normally works. I've really gone in to get that pigmentation. That one's called Second Star. Right, can you see it actually blends into my skin and that's why it wasn't showing. I'm just going to remove something that I must have swatched earlier. Yeah, so it actually blends into my skin. You can't see it at all, really, when it's on the eyelids. And like I said in that Colourpop video, I am so super fair as well. So you would have thought that that would show up a little bit more. Um, then we've got sm Small Furry. Right, that is gorgeous. So this is the first time swatching that one. Oh, it's super metallic. Let's do another swatch. Look at that. Right, and then we're going to go into the other one I didn't much care for, which is Big Magic. See, that's showing up a lot better now, so maybe it was the brush. I'm going to swatch it twice, and I'm going to go in it again with Second Star and swatch that again. But yeah, that's not that's really not making a difference. But that one is. Um, that big magic has come out a little bit better. So maybe I'll just try and build it up a little bit more next time. I mean, I thought I did, to be honest. I used two different brushes. And then we've got Tink. This really nice green. Look at that. I can't knock that, even if I wanted to, which I don't. I love Colourpop and I just love receiving their palettes so I just get a bit disappointed when I've been really looking forward to something and it's not as pigmented as I would have thought so Tink and then we've got the lighter green which is called Pixie Dust which is that one there now I don't I don't know if the super shock that I've got as well is similar to that but we'll we'll have a look at that in a second um, and then we've got Neverland which is the deeper screen it's like a furry screen that's really really pretty as well 
super pretty that would give you a really nice smoky eye I will be using this soon I just don't know when I don't feel like there's an urgency now I've done a first impressions on it but yeah I do want to use it soon the next one is sleep which I've used that's really really pretty in it it's a really pretty green um, the next one is place between which is a copper I've not used that and I've not swatched it I forgot to show you what it looked like on the finger that's really really pretty as well that's what it looks like really really stunning and then the last one is Cold Awake which is a really deep green look how deep it is it's almost black right so that's all the nine eyeshadows and now I just want to compare um, pixie dust with straight on till morning let's have a look at these because they do look similar right so that's the cute packaging there like I said I love the attention to detail straight on till morning looks like it could be a little bit darker like if I show you if I can right so obviously straight on till morning pixie dust it looks like it's going to be darker but let's just swatch them next to this green one <clears throat> And just see so I'll swatch pixie dust first we'll do that there I'm gonna swatch it a couple of times to get a true representation of it that is pixie dust <coughs> right <coughs> excuse me um, and then we're gonna go and we're straight on till morning and that looks far more metallic as well no they do look similar when you look at them but they're not at all similar shades so pixie dust straight on till morning super shark and then what I'll do is I'll just show you the swatch of the lippy now with the lipsticks I've said this before um, I hate the smell of it guys and I spoke to a few people in this Colourpop group I mean, if, if you're a fan of Colourpop um, Facebook do this Colourpop group called Colourpop Makeup Queens I'd really really love to see you in that group if you're not already joined if you are joined just please let me know in the comments down below so we've done that so it's just this one here and the packaging on this is just packaging goals as well um, I'm definitely going to be keeping this on my lipstick holder just on display it's really really nice and it is a nice formula guys I'm not going to take that away from it but the smell of it is enough to put you off I mean it really is it's pretty strong yeah it definitely smells like Jeffree Star's lipsticks um, I'm just going to put it here on the side I think that's where you'll be able to see it better I mean look how pigmented that is for a lip tint that is really really pigmented isn't it so that's all the swatches and then that's the lip tint I definitely want to get the other one of these but that'll probably have to wait till the next colour pop order this one's Tinkerbell and I can't remember the other name of the other one I think the other one is slightly lighter so that was my haul for the Tinkerbell collection I did actually think about getting the full collection but then I realised there was like some of the blushes I didn't like so I just left it and just got those free items so yeah um really I'm a really massive fan of the colour story as I would be with it mainly being all greens um really really love it so this concludes the video guys this is everything I got here um like I said I'm really really happy to have those in my collection so I can pop them away in my collection now that I've actually done this video for you guys hope you've enjoyed it if you've got any of these products I've shown please let me know in the comments down below let me know what you think of the palette I would really be interested in knowing that uh, 
So this concludes the video guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel, it means the absolute world to me, please like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in my next one.